Hello, welcome to Barcodes in SAP with the Barcode Writer in Pure Postscript. The Barcode Writer in Pure Postscript offers many barcodes. We'll focus on just four of these barcodes. Here we have a SAP script screen which will use uh, normal SAP script printer controls to control the Barcode Writer in Pure Postscript. Now, as you can see, there are many print controls on this screen. The ones to note are ZBW01 and ZBW02. This is user configurable, but this switches on and switches off the barcodes. The other barcode uh, printer controls, the ZLT01, that moves the barcode to the left. Here we have the, uh, the data to encode, which is a URL. The flightaware.com is just a flight statistics, well, it's a flight statistics website. And here is the variable data we will uh, encode for the 2D barcode, which is the carrier ID and the connection ID. This will be used by the flightaware website. So here we go and generate the QR codes into a PDF document which obviously can be printed. Call it QR code 1 and that document now will open. Here once it's generated we will open it and as you can see many QR codes are generated with the connection ID and the flight ID. So potentially wouldn't want to send somebody so many 2D barcodes but uh, it shows the flexibility of the barcode writer in Pure Postscript the way it's configured in SAP. If we move on to Data Matrix which is another 2D barcode type and as you can see prompted to save the document and we can open that once it's gener generated. Again, here we have exactly the same document but with data matrix barcodes. Okay, the last 2D barcode we'll do is the Aztec code. So if you go through the Aztec code device type in SAP to generate the PDF. And once that's created, we can open that document and be Again, exactly the same information we're encoding here, so we can use the same document, same device um, type for the Aztec code. We'll generate the Aztec codes. So, as you can see, it's quite flexible to generate so many barcodes from Barcode Writer and Pure Postscript. So, now we're just going to move on to the Japan Post, as I'm actually in Japan at the moment. Um, just picked the Japan Post barcode, purely for demonstration purposes. I think that actually uh, can scan these in, but uh, this will use this one just to show the flexibility of the printer controls to generate and place the barcode within the document. So if you open the Japan Post PDF, and as you can see, this barcode is generated again. Uh, you can see the text 0788 and 0788 on the barcode. If you scroll down, the text in the barcode matches the text below.
Okay, so if we uh, wait a short while while we set up, and while I set up the uh, screen and demonstrate the printer controls to actually move and adjust the barcodes within the documents using printer controls within the SAP script transaction. So if you just find the correct SAP script and change the document, go into the uh, text elements. Now we're just going to center uh, the ZOP2. I'll actually center the text within the barcode now. These are user configurable um, printer controls. You can actually change the functionality behind the code. But this is just the demonstration, and we will adjust the position and the type of the barcode. Okay, so we're going to move it right with this printer control to the right. Preactivate the SAP script. Okay, just call it a file name, and just the options, once that's generated, we open the document, the PDF, as you can see, it's moved to the right, and the text within the barcode is in the center of the barcode. Okay, if you're just between the two. Hopefully you can see the adjustments of the barcode is moved across the page and the actual text is now within the center of the barcode. Still not quite right. It's not quite positioned correctly. So if you go back to the SAP script, and use another printer control, and we're going to move the barcode up. So, active save and activate the form. And there you go. The barcode now is clear of the text below. As you can see, using simple, straightforward printer controls, we have the control to move the barcode within the document.